coupe form, the MGA is actually quite a rarity. This is particularly interesting, this car. It's one of the very last built, registered well into 62. And um, they were rather special. The, first, the MGA first appeared to replace the TF in 55. But in 1956, a year later, they introduced this fixed coupe which rather like the Jaguar XK Coupes, it really does work. It, yeah. The lines look great. And it's, a, it's just, for somebody who wants an MGA with a little bit more of a civilized touch, the coupe really hits the spot. It's a very nice car. It's in as much as the fact that it's a rare UK spec car. Certainly there weren't many. Obviously, as we all know, the bulk of, of um, production went overseas. And uh, to find a home market right-hand drive coupe mm. as a Mark II is quite a rarity. It's lovely lovely wheels too. Very correct. But something it's got, which is a real bonus, is an MX-5 Mazda 5-speed box. It's actually, I think, is a better gearbox than the Ford Type 9 that everybody uses for this conversion. But uh, otherwise, everything is spot on. Being a Mark II, she's got the... Uh, Leatherette covered dashboard and the top here. Now this is a bonus because when you've got the painted top on the earlier cars Reflects. you do get a reflection yeah. when you're going down a tree-lined road. Um, again correct steering wheel, everything's right which is really nice. Not quite concourse but it's certainly a pretty well conditioned one car. new rubbers on the rear yeah, I mean, windscreen everything's as well. been done right. We're big fans of the MGA. We have one ourselves. We've had for a long time. And, uh, I like the door locks. Yeah, there's a nice little touch those, aren't they? Chrome wire wheels look smart, of course, with a black car. All the bright work is good. Oh, I think the tax has run out. Look, it's, uh, <laughs> it's slightly out of date. <laughs> Just seven ninety-two. Yeah. Sixty-two. All correct. Original engine. Everything as it should be. It is almost concourse. Yeah, it's very, very good, isn't it? Very good. Absolutely. Certainly a lot of money has been spent. Since the completion of the restoration, which I think was 2011, 2012, it's been used you know, regularly but fairly sparingly. The Mark II, the difference you notice is the tail lights. And of course, the radiator grill has, is, is in the set. But otherwise, the basic shape of the MGA remained untouched completely from 55 to 62. Well shod, decent radial tyres. 